everybody, it's Annette from The Art of Intuition, and today we're going to talk about shifting our frequency, how to know when we have shifted our frequency, and the signs of that. This is my third time shooting this video. I'm trying to power through it. I'm not feeling the best, so this might not be my best work, but we're going to try to get through it because I really want to get this done today. I feel like it's important. So, here we go. When we start to shift our frequency, you're going to notice your body feels differently in different places. So take your house, for example. If you have gotten your house to a very high vibrational place, because you have a lot of crystals in your house, you have a lot of, if you have andars in the house, a lot of color in the house, um, not a lot of clutter in the house, there's a couple of different things that are going to lend to higher frequencies. If you're playing a lot of high vib vibrational music, I was trying to think of the name of the, what do they call them? Subvergio, it's not Subvergio Beats. I can't think of what it's called. I can't think think about it. But any high vibrational frequencies going running through your house too. That'll do it. Plants will do it. And just not having a lot of people in the house will also do it. So you're going to notice where you have a lot of high vibrational things. And plus you're going to eventually be able to feel the vibration of something. Like furniture you bring in. So you kind of get over the whole need to what do they call it? Smudging? How we used to smudge things back back in the good old good old days. But back in a long time ago when we were worried about different energies on things, which is kind of an older mentality of thinking, because it's really not it's really not true. When you get well, it's not true when you get to the higher frequencies, because when you get and you're living from your higher frequencies, your higher aspects, you don't bring anything in that doesn't feel like it's at the highest vibration. You know, it doesn't exist in your reality. So you're really careful about what you bring into your home, how the vibration feels to you. So once you have a something set up like that, a lot of light, a lot of windows, that'll do it too. And if you've also been clearing a lot of your own stuff, you're going to have a higher vibration in general, and which is going to also help the home out. So you're going to find there are a lot of things that are going to go into your home being a higher vibration, right? Also, pets can do it too. So when you leave your house, you're going to find a couple of things. You might not, you might feel tired when you go out for long periods of time. You might not want to go out. And other days you might want to go out because when you're in a high vibrational space, you're going to not have a lot of capabilities, linear capabilities. Like if you're going to try to set down and do your taxes and you're in a very high vibrational space, you're going to have a hard time doing that. You might have room to move to different rooms in your home because each room is going to have a different vibration. Like my bedroom has a very high vibration because I keep all my Andars in that room and I have some of the artwork that I've done in there that's high vibrational. And the cats usually sleep in there with me at night. That's high vibrational. Sometimes they won't. One will always. Sometimes the other one won't because it might be too high for her in that moment or she needs to just be by herself. So we really can't take that personal. <laughs> Same thing with partners when they don't want to sleep in certain spaces with us. The vibration is just too high for them in that moment and they don't want to be in there. So wherever you feel like it's the highest, that's where you'll go to kind of charge your soul light up and charge your, your light body up so you can maintain your higher frequencies. But when you want to kind of get out of that space because you have linear capability, linear things you need to do and you need your linear capabilities, you might go to other rooms in the house. So when you go to other rooms in the house, if you're trying to do linear work, you might want to try to set up in a chair like this for the back to it, where you're kind of setting up straight. Because if your spine is erect, you're going to have more linear capabilities. But you're going to find after a while, it's going to be really hard to even set up straight for long periods of time. You're going to find you're going to do more work, kind of maybe with a pillow on a, on a couch or on your bed. So you're going to have to see what feels right to you. Maybe not what feels right is not the right word, but what feels what feels right in the moment of what you need to do and the vibration of where you need to be. It also goes into account for when you go out, which I think I started with that earlier. Bear with me. When we go outside, you might sometimes want to go out because you might want to be out in nature where it's very high vibration. You might have to go out and be around people, different people, like go get service work done on your car and you're going to have to be around different people in a different frequency. And it might be a lower frequency. And that does not mean good or bad, just lower than what you're normally used to setting at. So your body's going to have to sustain its frequency 
without the support of your home. So that will drain you too. So you'll find you'll only be able to be out for certain hours and you might not feel so good after a while once you've been out for a while. You might be able to do it for four or five hours and maybe three or four years ago, you can only do it for two, two hours. You're also gonna find different situations you used to enjoy, you don't enjoy anymore. <laughs> different activities you used to enjoy, you don't enjoy anymore because of your frequency is now different than that activity. Whether, no matter what it is, it could have been you used to socialize more and now you don't, you don't feel like that really suits you anymore. So all these are signs that your frequency has shifted to the point where you have, you can gauge the difference in your body. Now the little subtle frequencies, I don't feel like in the beginning we noticed. You do at a certain point of consciousness, you start to even notice the subtle shifts. You start to notice the subtle shifts in people when they shift frequencies, when they go from a head thinking to more heart thinking, or they're in their heart and then they go back to their head, their heart opens, their heart closes, your heart opens, your heart closes. You're gonna be able to start to pick up on that and feel the difference. Also with people, I know a lot of couples that have been together for a long time and they will, will say they're happier when the other person's not there. And that can be a kind of harsh reality to come to when you realize you're happier when certain people aren't around you anymore. You, your body feels better, your body feels lighter because you've shifted so far away from the frequency of that person. Because we all have kind of core, it's almost like a circle. Yeah, I guess it's almost like it is a circle. You can look at it like a circle. You have like a core group of people that you're very, very energetically connected to. And technically everyone in our energy at any time is some type of aspect of us, but they might be farther removed from different groups or kind of pods we join up to. We all have different galactic families that have a certain signature, different soul families that have a certain signature. Even though everyone technically is part of us, certain people are gonna resonate more with you and other people are not gonna resonate as much with you. So after a while, if you've been with someone that really resonated with you, but there might've been distortions to that, and once you clear any distortion around that, or it was just a part of you you couldn't find, and they gave you a lot of peace and happiness that you hadn't felt, we kind of attach it to that person, but it's really not about that person. It's more about the feeling they gave us, but it was always kind of our feeling, but we kind of attach it to that person. But after we can achieve that in ourselves, sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes that person no longer needs to be there anymore. They're not serving a purpose anymore. And what you're gonna find is everyone, when you're in a higher vibrational realities and you're in those higher frequencies, everybody serves a purpose. And if their purpose is complete and there is no new purpose to enter into, a lot of times these people will go because we no longer need them to kind of find that space anymore. And you won't feel you won't feel that connection the same way. You'll always be connected to them, but you might not feel the connection the same way. I mentioned earlier going out, and I want to touch on this one more time before I go. I don't think I'm gonna last much longer. When we do go out, you might start asking yourself, what's the best day for me to go do this? <laughs> when is the energy gonna be the best? When is my body gonna be the strongest for, for you to go out and do something like car maintenance or go to the post office, whatever it is. And that's going to be the smallest things, but if you want it to flow very, you want it to flow, the flow to be, everything to feel like it's in flow, start asking, what's the best day for me to do this? Not when your human wants to do it, not when your ego wants to do it. What is the best day for me to energetically do this? When am I going to have the most energy? You'll be surprised how specific sometimes the answers can be. I always know certain days have things have to be done on certain days. Some days I might not even know, like if I've got to go get car work done, where I'm going to go to do it. I'll know that probably in that moment, but I know there are certain days that are going to be better for me to be able to do that than other days. Sometimes you just let your universe decide if you're trying to make an appointment. Don't go with what you want in the beginning if you're not sure <laughs> if your ego is doing it or your higher aspects are doing it. Ask them to pick it for you. You just pick the day for me. What's the next thing you have that when I could, I could come in? And that will be your sign. You can make that your sign that your universe is telling you that's going to be the best vibrational day to do it. Just going to start doing things when it feels vibrationally aligned. You're going to look at people who feel vibrationally aligned. And you're going to start to notice your body flexing when you're in different situations because the frequencies are different. You're trying to sustain. 
I know I've been going through a lot of body upgrades, haven't been feeling the best. And I noticed myself that I was doing okay yesterday till some people came over and then I really was not feeling well at all because my body was trying to hold the field with a lot of people in the field that were at different vibrations. And my body didn't have the energy to complete my body, that what my body was going through. So I started to feel really poorly, really fast. But I found that when the people left and I could, I didn't have, my body wasn't working overtime to sustain my field and sustain the frequency of the field. Because when you're the highest vibrational person in the field, you're sustaining the field. It just goes to how long you can sustain it, but you're sustaining the field and you're gonna sustain it. And also because you're in your home, if you're in your home, the home is supporting you to do that. So you'll be able to do it for a while. And I could tell, cause then I started feeling not, not really great. <laughs> and I knew it was time for these people to go cause it's like, I can't. But as soon as they left, I felt better. I didn't feel great. But I felt better because my body could then focus all its energy on upgrading and clearing and not trying to sustain the field and do that at the same time where I started to feel the more physical stuff going on. So, okay, it was a little longer than I wanted it to be, but also I put up some courses on my website. So I will put a link down in the areas below. And if you sign up early, I think through February 14th, where I set it at, code early bird. You can get a hundred dollars off any of the courses you can use it as many times as you want to so okay that's it keep practicing the art of intuition